What's up guys, Snazzy iPhone Hacker here, and I'm just thinking like, how many of you guys have like, five, four, like how many pages do you guys have on your iPhone or, I or iPod Touch? Because if you have like five pages of apps, and so many pages of apps, and you just wish you can kind of just like, jam it into a couple less pages, like three or four pages, if you have like, going from like six to four pages, or like four to like two or three pages, of apps and you really want to know how to do that then this is the video for you alright if none of that made sense watch it anyways and step up your knowledge game on iPod touches and iPhones alright so today's video is going to be on how to get right here guys five column springboard okay this is going to be how to get five column springboard and not only five column springboard but also five icon dock. Some of you guys may have already known how to do this. Some of you guys may have five icon dock and not have five column springboard. And if that's you, watch this video so that way you guys can know how to do it. As you can see, I have five, um, five columns which means I can fit five apps in one row. I have seen some things where they get like five rows but I'm not sure how to do that so far, so I'll find that out and do a video on that later. But as you can see, guys, I have a lot of apps, and I just jammed it into less pages. So first off, what you're going to want to do is open up Cydia, or IC, if that's what you use. By the way, guys, IC video review and how to coming up soon, all right? I'll do a video on that. So far, just to let you get a little sneak peek, I don't really like IC that much. Yeah, it is way faster, but... Cydia, psh, it just looks so much nicer. I can actually just like scroll, enjoy going through the apps and looking at them and stuff because it is just way, way nicer and stronger in my, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, once you gotta let your Cydia load up, and I'm pretty, you don't need to add any sources or anything. I'm pretty sure you don't. So once it reloads all its data, uh, you gotta click on the search button, which is right there. So uh, once this thing, see, this is the only reason why I hate. No, this is only this is only one of the problems I have with Cydia. The loading time, it's just ridiculous how slow it is sometimes. But yeah, once that ring of death stops moving, <laughs> you're gonna click on search and you're just gonna type in. Uh, I guess we'll start off with the five icon doc since that's the easiest one. Click on the top, type in five. If you just type in five, guys, I think you'll be able to get both. Oh, I hate when that doesn't. That's another thing I hate. It all like deletes all of your letters if you just make one mistake. Five and type in C. If you type in C, you get other things. Five. Oh my God. City, you're killing me. All right, so five. Let's just stop messing around, guys. Five icon. All right. Search. Five icon doc. As you can see, click it. And once it's finished loading, you can see Five Icon Dock. It is from Ciroc. It's it, it's going to be automatically from that um repo that everyone has, all right? So as you can see, guys, it shows, bam, you have like five icons in your dock. Rip Dev. It's one of the largest reasons people use Facelift to get a Five Icon Dock. I don't know what they're talking about there. But this is a, this is a big step for um, any people who have just jailbroke their iPods or iPhones, all right? It's a great thing to have, so... As you guys can see, it's straight up from Cydia itself, so it, you don't need to add any sources. Click install. Once you have that installed, it might ask you. It will probably ask you to restart your Springboard. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But um, once you're done respringing this, um, respringing your iPod Touch, you're gonna go back into Cydia um, and type in five space C O L U column M N and as you can see, there are already some themes for the uh, five column thing, but that's not how it is because for some reason it does not want to. Let's just type in five, guys, all right? <laughs> type in five, go to F, and my fault. It's going to be five dash column, not five space column because if you do that, it doesn't seem to work. And the repo that I have for it to work on is the SOS iPhone Cydia repo. I'll put that um, repo repository in the description for any of you guys who have any problems. But if you already have that repository, just type five dash 
Calm Springboard. Also, in one of my later video videos, guys, I'm going to show you how to get every single repository, or at least like 30 repositories from like in less than 5 minutes, alright? So, uh, click on 5 Calm Springboard, and it's in like some other language, I don't know why, but it works, guys. Alright, it's, it's a French repository, SOS iPhone, but this thing works. Install that. Once you install it, you're definitely going to restart your springboard after that. It will probably take you back to your home screen, lock your, lock your iPhone or iPod Touch. So you're just going to want to open it up. And when you open it up, you'll realize that you already have five icons per row. Which is great because you guys can fit way more stuff here. As you can see, you can fit 5, 10, 15, 20 apps on each page. So I have 40 apps just from the first two pages instead of having like 16 on each page. It's, it's pretty good, alright? And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of like blank icons. And if you look at the very bottom, I still have like nine pages. And those are six, like six pages of nothing but blank icons, which really sucks because, but that's just from the I Smiley theme. But when you download um, Five Column Springboard, you also get this app called FCSB Toggle, which is Five Column Springboard Toggle. If you oh, if you want to ever say, hey, I really hate Five Column Springboard, I don't have any use of it, and you don't want to uninstall it because maybe someday you might need it, click this button. And it tells you it's toggling, which means it's going to turn it off. But if you have a whole bunch of blank icons or like over 144 icons, it's not going to let you switch back to um, four icons because you have too many pages. Four column mode because you have too many pages. As you can see here, you have over 144 icons. And they have limitations, so it says please remove icons before continuing. Which means that any of you guys who downloaded any of the INAT themes probably won't be able to toggle, which really pisses me off, so I might just have to delete a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm going to be able to show you guys right now how to um, delete and how to move around your stuff. So let's just go to this page since I don't have anything too important here. So if you hold on, just as you normally would, you can see that there are five icon delete buttons per thing, all right? So moving them, moving your icons is a lot harder, guys. It's not a lot harder, but it is a bit harder. I'm not going to lie. Like, for instance, let's say you want to take Shazam and take it all the way to the fifth spot. It is pretty hard because, watch, it takes you to the next page. It doesn't let you just drop it in there. It Like, trust me, guys, I tried it a bunch of times. It just doesn't work. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the fourth spot since you really can't go over and then drag things and do that. You have to pull one of those moves, and it works the same way for here. Uh, maybe not, but on these, on the right side, it usually pulls that trick a lot on you. But as you guys can see, you fit a lot of a lot more stuff. Same thing with down here on the five icon dock. And also, I'm gonna go into the problems after I talk about everything else. All right. So as you can see, these icons are moving. You can put them any way you want. All right. I usually like having my icon, my dock looking like this. Not really. Something like that. I don't know. Depends on what theme I'm using. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, another problem. If you look here, uh, you can kind of see that the words of the apps kind of get really close to each other. And they sometimes, like, crush into each other, depending on what theme you're using. And also the icon badges might go over something. But in a way, the way to get um, the badge over the app, let's just say, as you guys can see, the SMS app is kind of hovering over that badge. You just hold down mail, for instance, and you can now see that it's actually over the app, and then press home button, and you're perfectly good. Same thing with this. Just hold it, and now it's over, and now it looks a lot better. All right, that's pretty much it for the five column springboard uh, mod along with the five icon dock. I'm going to shoot a video right now on some themes that look really cool with the five um, column springboard. And maybe I'll do a video on font swap, I don't know. But I didn't press anything there and it just went into wiggle. That's weird. But also another thing, guys, look. Uh, or maybe not. See, you can kind of see it flashes. That happens a lot. Don't worry about it, guys. Uh, Snazzy iPhone Hacker here, guys. Hitting 10 minutes right now. 
Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my next video and check out my giveaway, okay? I'm giving away this right here. This is going to be giving away one of these skins type things. Music skins. That's what I'm giving away. So subscribe now to be part of that giveaway. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.